Handicapper Steve here, handicapping the racing from Mountaineer Park here on Saturday. It is August the 1st, 2015. Going to look at the stakes races. Not all of them. I'm just going to look at races 7, 8, and 9. If you want the whole card, follow me on Twitter at 316 to pick some more se selections. Um, so let's get on to it. Today's seventh race is the 19th running of the West Virginia Governor's Stakes. Price $200,000 for three-year-olds and upwards. Uh, going a mile and a sixteenth here. That gives me a second to stop speaking. To show that. Um, I'm going to go with the sixth horse here. In this field of a lot of horses. Um, like I said, this is a great card from Mountaineer today. Um, like you have the West Virginia Derby. Um, you have incredible stakes races. Oh, yeah, there's a, uh, the second race is really nice for an f rolling race. Even this race, beautiful race. Um, we have a field of 12 horses. Going to go with the 6th horse. Number 6, Paige McHenry at 3-1. to one. Hector Caramos, last time out. Did run at uh, Prairie Meadows, mile on the 8th on June 27th in the Cornhusker Stakes. Finished third by 2 and a quarter lengths. I had a bit of the far turn. Just kept on going that day. Um... Maybe it was a bit too short. I don't know. Um, then Pimlico mile through 16th on May the 15th and Pimlico special a great three event that day. Finished uh, second by two and a half lengths. Uh, he was between and altered his game. He was very um, had a good uh, run that day. Um, uh, second best uh, career best 98 uh, by speed figure or tied career best word. Um, and then Church uh, Charlestown <laughs> not Churchill Charlestown mile eighth on uh, April the 18th. In the Charlestown Classic, finished third by four and a half lengths at 33 to one. It was really, really closing that day. Very nice victory. Um, so gonna go with this one. I really like this horse here, the Skelding. Had a workout Pimlico July 15th, five furlong workout 103 and four, fourth best at six, and a Pimlico workout five furlongs and 102 and two, second best at 10 that day. So recount my bets for race number seven from Mountaineer. Gonna go with the six. Now let's head on to race number eight from Mountaineer. Was the 46th edition of the West Virginia Derby. Grade two per $750,000. It's for three year olds. Field of 11 horses traveling one mile and an eighth. The weirdly shaped track. Uh, I'm going to go do an exact box here of the 510, because I don't know who's running in this race. You have a lot of horses crossed enter. They have to fix that next year. Um, number 5, Taylor Verve at 4-1, Robbie Alvarado. Last time out there at Belmont Park, mile and a half on June the 6th in the Belmont Stakes. Uh, finished them by 20 and a half lengths. Uh, it just had nothing left. Um, and then start for that was in the previous grade one event, Pimlico on the slot, mile through 16th of May the 16th, and yeah, whatever. Um, finished second by seven lengths. Um, it was really closing that day. Had to alter his course in the stretch, but, uh, because the third place finisher, Divining Ride, was really had to move, and, you know. Um, and then main special weight, 58,000, keen the mile through 16th on April 23rd. One by two lengths, broke his main that day. Really good, uh, five wide, clear victory. I'm gonna go with this one. I'm also going to go with the 10 made from, like, yeah, 3 to 1. Joe Bravo for Todd Pletcher last time out. Throwing up Belmont Park, mile and a half on June 6th in the Belmont Stakes. Fifth, sixth by 17, three quarter lengths. Just did not fire. It was three wide at the first turn, four wide the second turn. Just tired. Um, and then the Peter Pan Stakes, Belmont Park, mile and eighth on May the 9th. One by length. Um, was four wide in the upper, upper stretch and was just itching away. Um, I, like I said, I, I like this horse too. I had to work out four frongs at Saratoga in 48 and 4, and a five frong workout 102 and 4. Um, like was, uh, I'm going to go with this one. Out of looking at Lucky. So we count my bets for some rate from Mountaineers to West Virginia Derby. Going to go with the 510. Now let's head on to race number nine from Mountaineer. What's the 19th running of the West Virginia's House of Delegates Speakers Cup? First 100 grand. The three-year-olds and upwards field of 12 horses traveling a mile and 70 yards on the turf. Uh, nice race here again. Mile 70. And I'm going to go with the 10 horse here. Number 10, Rose Breer. Edgar Prado coming in from Florida to ride this one 3-1 to one last time. Outthrown at Monmouth Park July 4th and Elkwood stakes for 80 grand. Uh, finished fifth by three-quarters length. I had a late gain on the outside. Then the Red Bank Stakes of Monmouth, one mile in May, May the uh, 16th. Finished fourth by two lengths. Um, was off the rail. Was just a little bit out kick that day. And then Lance Race for 65,000. I key, I key in him on uh, one mile on the soft turf course on April the 15th. Finished third by neck. Uh, I was at the five half of quarter pole and just hung. Um, at first start here at Mountaineer against a group of lesser quality horses than he was been ha than he has been facing. So gonna go with this one. So recap my bets for race number nine from Mammoth Park, uh, excuse me, from Mountaineer Parks, see, because I have the Haskell on my mind still. So. Um, going to go with the 10 horse here from Mountaineer. Good luck to all, and please follow me on Twitter at 316 picks.